people that haven't caught a tarpon, it's a it's a hard thing to describe the emotional feeling of catching that fish until you hook onto one. He's gonna jump, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump! Walk down to the marina here and meet Ryan down before we head out for some tarpon. We are uh, really looking forward to this. We were we were diligent this morning to make sure we we proteined up and had enough eggs and bacon in us for uh, the trip. He's had three or four people uh, this year already uh, pass out or or just get sick from from the fight with the tarpon being so long and all the lactic acid buildup. So. We're pretty excited to feel that. Um, you know, he's going on like 82 or 83 days straight guiding for tarpon. So uh, he's the guy down here and he's really fun to be around and, and this should be a, a pretty epic time. Finally put in, we're on the water now and, and Ryan's gonna kinda let us know how we're going to get our hands on on a few of these beasts. Yeah, it's uh, we're prime time tarpon season right now, and uh, we've got just a fantastic tide. So we have a windy day today. We're going to fish around the wind conditions. Uh, we're coming out here in the morning, incoming tide. Basically, we have a strong east wind that's going to glass out the beach. So we're going to go out there and sight cast some of these fish on this incoming tide. Give it a couple hours out there. Hopefully, get some nice big fish. And then when that tide turns and starts to go out. We're gonna fish that flush tide. We're gonna come into some of these passes and use the same baits, the crabs that we got yesterday. We're gonna do a couple of uh, different techniques with the same baits, see if we can get our hands on some. Sweet, let's go get a workout. Let's do it. Of an 82 day run right now. 82, 82 days. Day, all fishing, just tarpon. Just tarpon. So when I started tarpon fishing, when I started guiding, I would dabble with tarpon and I realized, you know, early on I would say, well, let's go tarpon fish for a few hours. If that doesn't work out, I'd always have a plan B and have extra rods to go inshore, snook trout, and red fishing, uh, which was a good game plan so you could guarantee fish every day. But I also realized on the tarpon grind, you're not necessarily going to run out and catch a fish the first cast every time. Uh, so a lot of days I think I was giving up a little bit early before the tide cycle, before the bite, whatever it was. So now we have only tarpon baits, only tarpon rods. We're going to grind the tarpon and uh, next thing you know, it'll produce a bite. So the fight is that crazy and that hard that it's worth it just it's, to... It's 100% addictive and that's what I tell people like you when you get on the boat, people that haven't caught a tarpon, it's a, it's a hard thing to describe the emotional feeling of catching that fish. Uh, until you hook onto one and you'll see my, my mate and I, we, we get as genuinely as excited as you guys will. Uh, we get goosebumps, adrenaline. I barely sleep at all uh, this time of year just thinking about waking up the next day and doing it over again. So that 82 day grind, some people feel bad for us for working so hard, but um, if, it's, if it wasn't the love and the passion for doing it, we would take a day off, we wouldn't do it, but uh, we're out here every day and we love every second. That's pretty awesome. And basically it's just a, they're just a, such a hard fight because they are, I mean, A, so strong, but B, they just basically fight until they're that close to death. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, so uh, they'll give it every ounce. Most fish, you know, probably have that same mindset when they're hooked. They don't know you're going to catch and release them. They think they're going to die. But these tarpon, uh, the best way I can describe it is imagine walking into a, a caged up tiger with nothing but your bare hands and trying to take that tiger down. Uh, it's just you just inch by inch and you know people say we're, oh, we're gonna go fight a fish We're fighting a fish this tarpon. You're actually in an absolute battle 
and you'll see when you start grunting and sweating, uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll be 12 rounds, and I'll let you know which round you're at yeah, each, each step of the way. <laughs> So far, all we've done is wait. But we did move and just see a few, uh, a couple different schools here. So maybe maybe Ryan got a dial now and we're in the right spot. But it's definitely, uh, it's definitely not like you're casting and winding and just hooking fish all the time. Gotta have patience. the boat around to keep you up on the bow there. Right. Whew, that was easy. <laughs> what have we been doing out there, right? <laughs> Sometimes you come out here and just catch one and you're like, oh, that's kind of boring. That's all well, there is to it. This is kind of at a standstill now. So when he jumps, I need to point the rod to point him. The rod, I guess. Oh. I feel like it literally just sat there the whole time while I was yeah, doing that. Yeah, he was a good fish. We just hooked our first tarpon at just before 3.30, and reeling it in was pretty much like I was just trying to reel up a, a minivan off the bottom and couldn't move it. <laughs> um, we kind of used the boat to get a little bit closer and kind of maybe change angle of the hook or something. He popped off, but we just saw another one jump too, so hopefully we're in them now. Well, been kind of a long, tough day today. We've uh, <clears throat> jumped two fish, treading and falling for a few minutes there, got off. <laughs> um, we've tried almost everything in the book, it seems like, and we're kind of here on this last ditch hole and <clears throat> there was sunset going on here, so hopefully we can uh, pull one last minute and get it going here. But uh, it's been interesting. These guys have treated us well, <laughs> taking care of us, gotten baits in the water, so. Yeah, hoping to pull one here, last minute. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm over that line. You you slide under you. Go ahead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good? Yep. Uh oh. Oh. Here, brother, come grab this rod under this anchor. What's that? Grab this rod. I'm all tired. Watch under the boat. We got, uh, put the engine up. Put the engine all wet. He's heading toward that line. Oh. Brother got to lean on one. Oh, it is a shark. Is it a big shark? What's the plan? Cute picture. <laughs> yep. I'll say, just tell me what you want to do with it. Hey, BFE out here, boat flip everything. Yeah, that's a cool first fish. Yeah, they're strong. Woo! Yeah, right? Like a 
across to where he goes, like face first fast. You know, actually, you know, face fast. Bye, bud. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Bye, buddy. That was a bull shark, you said? Yeah, that was a bull shark. Or a black tip. Yeah. Oh, a black tip. That's what I caught yeah. in the keys. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll take it. Got dude. to feel the awesome. ocean tug. Yeah. It's cool. a little different than back home. It's super easy. You know, yeah. Super easy. Out here for 12 hours, get shark. Yeah, one shot. <laughs> Worth it. Bro. Lucky socks. All right. Can we do this? Let's go, man. Game over. It's over. It's over. No Jake. That's it. No banana boat sunscreen. Yep. Lucky socks. <laughs> Back out with Ryan again, trying to catch these elusive tarpon that we've we've been after. It's been pretty tough. You know, last time I think we got two bites. Uh, didn't land either of them, but. Um, we cut out the banana boat sunscreen, can't have bananas on this boat. We got our lucky socks on, and um, it looks like we're gonna have a little bit better weather today, right? Yeah, yeah, we had a little bit of rain since last time, so that cooled down the water temperature just enough. I think they're gonna be happy fish. We're gonna get on them, and uh, hopefully they cooperate. Let's get something to eat. Let's do it. catch a fish on your first cast so we got Bro, knock, I, I actually have that sometimes yep I like we'll be bass fishing and we'll catch us like oh that's bad luck so being the time of year and stuff that we're here then the tarpon are kind of leaving on us uh, I guess they're they're like migrating they do a migration but do we know like where they migrate to they just go out deeper what are what yes. are they doing so the tarpon are kind of a they're almost a mix between a pelagic fish that would constantly move offshore their whole life and then a uh, inshore fish that would stay you know inshore and kind of feed around the tides and stay in one one location their whole life so they kind of blend that because they're in our area for about three months out of the year and then they disappear if you will obviously they don't just vanish but they they go somewhere there's some theories on if they move north south or for here due west offshore uh, and most pelagic fish will follow certain water temperatures uh, because they're following bait that follows that. For example, kingfish, they're almost like a snowbird, so they'll move north to, north to south uh, based on 72 degree water. Uh, tarpon, unfortunately for us, being able to target them, we don't have anything that easy uh, as far as an indicator to say, okay, the water temp is 72 degrees in this area this time of year, let's go target tarpon. So. Um, there's some theories on where they go, but they certainly disappear out of here. Uh, so they're not here. Uh, we're at the, the very end of the season. Uh, this is pretty much as late as we'll get them. You know, you'll get them into mid-August or mid-July, mid which we're on the calendar. We're, we're right there. We're there, bro. <laughs> we're there. You might be getting some of the last tarpon I'll see all season. Let's go. Yeah. Save the best for last. That's it. Yeah, look, that's that fish right there. Did he just roll? He like came up. They'll do that sometimes when they eat because they choke a bait down. He just ate your chump. Remember, you literally, you just threw a chum out that way, remember? Yeah. Uh, another one by the boat. All right. Two more, sweet. We're in them. Oh, there he is right there. Nice. All right, boys. Keep them interested. 20 footer, 25 feet. Boy, that's close. And he's swimming, so he's swimming right back towards he's that bait. He's swimming this way? He's going back this way. He might have spit it. It's okay. Dang it, right. bro. Was, right. was I too slow? <laughs> no, no, because you want him to jump in the rod holder. So, right, uh, that's, that's what I right. did. I was like, I'm going to grab it then. That's all right. We'll get another one out there. Bro, that wasn't little either. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, that was it's, like five or six foot long. For he's sure. a good one, yeah. It's probably one that was marked right there. That's, all right. Oh, see that one further out? That I don't know what that bait. was. That Baby was fish? Bait. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Nope, he's there. Is he? Yeah. You sure? Uh, I'm pretty, no. Nope. Oh yeah, you know, he's there, he's there, he's hauling. He's going under the boat. Oh God. <laughs> I gotta get that up. I don't know what I'm on. Yeah. The trolling motor? Oh, he's going to the back now? <laughs> 
go under the engine. I'm gonna get the engine up. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. We're good. You're good. There's the leader right there. Yep. This is right here. He's right here. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> There's your leader touch for real. We can what get a this. circus. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Camera guy's down. <laughs> He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. <laughs> Woo. Get this stuff out of your way. <laughs> it's a big one too, dude. All right, so y'all clear up here. Get this out of your heart. Get ready to go. I'm in a holding pattern. Yep, you're doing good. He's right under us right here. Oh, coming up. Nice. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna um, pull this troll motor up. It's gonna go up go into ahead. the left. I just want that out ahead. of there. You got him. He's he's pretty beat. I mean, he's clear these lines and we'll get him. I was going to say, yeah, I feel like he's uh, he's beat. losing it. Now you can at least go under the bow of the boat without the troll motor. Yep. All right. This is the last round, and we're good to go. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, do you think he's going to jump, Yeah, Here he might comes. roll. Uh, he's, he's like. He's kind of tired, though, for real. Yeah, I was going to say, he's pretty beat down. That was a rodeo we put him through at the beginning. No. Very good. So once I can get to the thicker leader, but below Here he comes. the... Uh, oh. Once you can get to what? Say that again. The, the thicker leader under the, uh, the weight. weight, then I can put some, some heat on the leader. Some real heat. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Don't let this thing dog me. Oh, you're good, you're good. So you see that leader and then there's a yep. shock leader, like the FG knot's fine. He he's comes. gonna jump, he's gonna jump. Got it. Not ready yet. They don't like, like if you put pull back against them, they hate it. It's uh, yeah. He literally hates pressure. it. He's gonna go under again. Yep. He's hooked right in the clipper on the side. Is that good? Uh, Yeah, I just gotta be careful on Up the leader. I kind of want him beat down a little bit more. Yeah. Because when they're green, Me the thing too, is bro. I'm touching the leader, and if he shakes, that, that's when that hook can come out. If he's beat, you'll see him kind of lay. There you go. Yep, back pressure. Oh, he's going to jump. That was a good bow, too. That was clutch. <laughs> Let's go. A lot of times they'll jump. They'll be 100 yards away. He might get, you might get another jump. Yep. I'm just gonna have you play him down a little bit. That's all I'm doing. When he turns, I just like pull against yep. him. So that roll right there, that's what you get at the end of the fight. This one's not really giving us that classic tarpon fight, if you will. We're good with it. Come on! Still rodeo. I can tell, like, so when he goes, I can pull against him and then he like yeah, gets angry. You feel that tail still kicking? Yeah. You might get a roll out of him. Sorry, I killed it. Very good. He's still got some juice, a little. He's almost there. Yeah, it's I hooked can... on the bottom of his clipper. Like, I just don't want to yank him out right now, you know? Come back this way. I'm trying to come to you. Grab that face. Oh, I said it. I was trying to baby him too much. That's all right. We let him go, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a grind. It was worth and it. And then the grind's all worth it at the end. I'm not going to lie, my back is what's sore, bro. Oh, we're like leaning we're on like this. Fight of the air. And that wasn't even a fighter. You eat the same thing for dinner if you catch zero or 15 in a day. Bro, I have so much sweat coming off of my head right now. <laughs> we uh, just got back to the marina here from, from the, the trip after the Silver King. The elusive Silver King is no longer on the elusive list for us. We finally uh, linked up with one and checked it off the list and 
Uh, he wasn't lying. That is that is literally the most epic fight or fight that you can have. But no, awesome. That's you know. Thanks for having us again, and yeah. looking forward to getting back. For sure, definitely. No bananas, baby. No bananas. It works. It works. <laughs> it's the special socks. Coconuts and crabs, I'll coconuts see. and bait. Are you wasting our card space right now? Swab the poop deck. Oh, baby, when you talk like that. Good. I got just got back story. to the arena and we caught a tarpon. Oh, sorry, Thanks for sorry. having us, Ryan. Boom. Cool. <laughs> well.